Welcome to another edition of Jules Voto's Photo Focus. Recently, I did a video comparing high ISO noise on the Nikon Z8 to the 16-year-old Nikon D700, shooting RAW, converting to JPEG in Lightroom. And got a lot of response to that video, and someone asked if I could compare the Z8 to the Nikon D810. So in this video, that's what I've done. Using basically the same setup that I did comparing the Z8 to the D700, I reshot, of course, the Z8 images. They were shot using my standard test setup with just the normal room lights, recessed lights in my basement. Right now I'm being filmed in that exact same location. However, I have a couple LED lights lighting me. So I took an incident light reading and the reading indicated an exposure at ISO of 800 at 1 8th of a second at 5.6. I used Nikon's 50mm 1.8 G lens on both cameras. Of course, on the Z8, I used the FTZ adapter. Autofocus was on the mannequin head on her left eye. I, with both cameras, took a custom white balance off of a gray card. And then as I changed ISO on each camera, I of course upped the shutter speed to give the same exposure. Both camera meters when set to matrix indicated the same exposure as the incident reading. So that was good to know. You will note in each image, there is a white index card just below the head of the mannequin. Circled in purple is the ISO that was used for that particular image. The last number circled in purple is the one that was used for that image. For example, the very first picture that was taken at ISO 800, only 800 is circled. The next one, which was taken at 1600, both 800 and 1600 are circled. And the last image that was taken at 12,800, everything is circled, including 12,800. So the last one circled is the ISO that was used. I am also going to make these images available for download, the converted JPEGs, in a gallery. I will put a link in the description below to that gallery. And also, I will put a link to the previous video comparing the Z8 to the D700. Okay, so let's go look at the images. One other thing, I downsized the images from the Z8 to the exact same size as the images from the D810. Okay, so here we go with the images and uh, the 810 image, the D810 image is on the left, the Z8 is on the right. And uh, by the way, I use standard picture control on both cameras with normal noise reduction. And again, these were shot in RAW, converted in Lightroom to JPEGs. And the noise settings were exactly the same. Luminance at 56, detail at 75, and color at 25. You will notice the Z8 image is slightly darker. Uh, you could notice that in the cheeks of the mannequin and also on the color checker. But noise is the same. I see no difference in noise whatsoever. Here we just have the uh, 810 image at 800. It looks good to me. Again, the lighting was not set for portraits. It was, it was room lighting. I just wanted lighting that would simulate low light situations. So uh, again, here we have the Z8 image and uh, you know it looks fine to me, noise wise, color wise, everything is fine. I didn't expect a difference at 800. I've used the 810 for many years now. 
and really never had an issue at high ISO. So here we are at 1600. Again, I see little or no difference between the Z8 and the D810. In all these images, however, you will note that the Z8 image is a little bit darker. It appears there's a little more saturation in the color, but I think that's because the image is a little bit darker. No appreciable difference in noise. Either one is perfectly usable at 1600. Now we're going to go over to 3200. Again, you will notice the difference in density, on the, especially on the face, again, and on the color checker. Still, noise is low enough on both cameras to be perfectly usable. At 3200, here we have the D810. And I've shot this many times at 3200 for years. Here we go with the Z8 at 3200. So great to know that a camera that is 10 years old can still produce great images at high ISO. Now we go to 6400, and uh, I made a little mistake here. The Z8 image. Looks like I back focused it. I, I'm not sure how I did that, but the focus is not on the eye. It's more towards the globe. But noise wise, I, I don't think that really affects it. Um, I didn't have time to reshoot this, and I apologize for that. But again, I would say very difficult to tell much difference in noise. Possibly the Z8 is a tiny bit better. But without looking at images side by side, I don't think you would see that. And now finally, we go to 12,800. And I got the focus right this time. And here you will see a difference. Not a huge difference, but a difference. The Z8 image is better. But again, that is to be expected from a camera that's only a year old as opposed to 10 years old. You know, technology keeps improving. So really, it's the same thing I discovered with the D700 compared to the Z8 when shooting raw and converting. Noise was very close between those cameras. Again, a slight improvement on the Z8. So as always, I'd love to hear your comments, your questions, your thoughts. Please leave them in the comments below. I always try to respond to all comments and questions. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I publish a new video every Monday morning and Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon.